بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the relationship between the month of Ramadan and the Quran. This is what Ramadan is designed for. During the day, fasting. During the night, continuation of ibadah. And less rest, less sleep, less food, less drink, less and total, well, abstention. In fact, in the final 10 days of Ramadan, what is the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Total seclusion and i'tikaf. The meaning of i'tikaf is to single-mindedly focus yourself on one thing to the exclusion of everything else. Umm Mu'mineen Aisha radiallahu anha says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would do more in Ramadan than he ever did at any other time of the year. And when the final 10 days would come, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would rise وَشَدَّ مِئْزَرَةِ وَأَيْقَضَ أَهْلَةِ He would rise, he would fasten his belt, i.e. be determined to worship Allah in total isolation and total devotion for the final ten days and he would also exercise total abstention from other things and he would also awaken his family so that they would share the last 10 days of ibadah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of his greatest sunnats was i'tikaf in the final 10 days of Ramadan. And what kind of i'tikaf? Single-mindedly devoting oneself to the worship and the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What all of these things show, whether it's fasting, whether it's uh, spending the night in prayer and in recitation, whether it's following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whether it's i'tikaf, what all of these acts of worship show and these teachings show is that the month of Ramadan is designed to divert our attention away from this physical body and to lavish some attention on our ruh merely as a kind of training so that it creates a momentum that lasts us throughout the year. In fact, Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum al-siyamu kama kutiba ala ladheena min qablikum, la'allakum tattaqoon, O believers, fasting has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those who came before you. Why? We may think of many wisdoms and purposes for fasting. Allah mentions only one in the Qur'an. Allah mentions only one purpose, one wisdom, one reasoning for fasting, which is لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ in the hope, perchance, maybe, you may become muttaqi, you may adopt taqwa. And what is taqwa? A lot can be said, a, a very succinct definition, a very succinct definition of taqwa is, taqwa means, or taqwa is, to guard oneself from the displeasure of Allah, by guarding one's senses and one's limbs from the disobedience of Allah. This consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is complete, can only be achieved when we divert our attention away from our bodies and onto our ruh, and we prepare ourselves in the month of Ramadan so that that taqwa can be created and it can last us throughout the year. That's what fasting is designed to do. That's what prayer is designed to do.